car parts. I am getting car parts. Look what I got. As you know, the Eclipse is running a little too hot. And uh, my last effort before bringing the BMW in uh, to get ready for drifting and it will be to add this in here. I'm going to open in a minute. It is a fan shroud with two fans in it. And also I found um, the heating shield from the bottom parts of the BMW that I took when I put a 2JZ on the BMW and I'm using that on the Eclipse. So I did that yesterday. Uh, now we're going to finish this guy. And yeah, it's called the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Done. All right, so it looks great. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to clear because of the turbo uh, well we hope so so we're going to install this on this video uh, this has I don't know what goes on the bottom or what goes on the top but it has the OEM connectors for the Mitsubishi Eclipse which is a bonus uh, when I installed mine I cut the OEM from the fans and left the OEM alone. Someone asked me why did you do that? And that's the reason why. Now I can just remove this guy and use this OEM here into this here. Uh, the only thing I need to be careful now, I want to be sure uh, those are more expensive than the ones I have in the car even though I guess it's gonna be, they look pretty similar. Um, but um, I'm just gonna cut them in here unfortunately there is no other way to take them out um, oof, boy it's hard with one hand uh, yeah, there you go I just broke it I gotta be careful because with this I might break the actual radiator and I don't want to do that so yeah again two Two out of four, two down. All right, took it out. Look at the size. I'm gonna show you the difference. This is actually a little bigger, but we get the advantage of having this here with the shroud. So check this out. It's a little bigger. I think it's maybe one inch, one or two. So maybe this is a 12 and that one is a 10. Uh, but you know, this is quality probably uh, the fan of course the shroud is perfect look at that so let's see if it fits in there all right so we're gonna take this guy out so somehow I need to take enough coolant so I can disconnect this hose safely does that make sense gotta take this too so I should be able to move this my way which is gonna give me a little more room wow my turbo is on the way this goes like that okay I might be able to turn Nice. Nice. Oh yeah. Gone. Where am I getting stuck now? Nice. All right.
go. We got one. We got two. And check this out. It is too close to that pipe. So I might. Oh man, I might need to take that out. Cut it. So then I can move this in a little bit. So I can get a little bit more room. And that's the other thing. If I keep this like that. Uh, yeah, I have almost no room. So I'm not quite sure. What am I going to do, but, um, but yeah, it fits perfectly. You see the two bolts in here, uh, they are perfect. So I can, can do that. Um, I can still put my O2 sensor over this. Um, yeah, that's going to be my only downfall. And down there, there's two more bolts right in the middle, and I can bolt um, in here. I'm worried about that space to be very very honest um, and I have actually this heat shield to put in there but I'm not quite sure if that's that's gonna get hot I don't know if it's gonna melt the fan I guess I'm gonna try anyway if it melts the fan I'll take it out do it again I don't know um, all right Let's do it. All right, so I took it out again. I'm going to just try to do the right thing here. Dogs want to bark right when I'm making the video. So I'm gonna take this here. And yeah, just to take some dirt out of the way. Breeze, you know. So we can get our tape. Where is it? Here. Go away, buddy. Yeah. Can we do later? Yeah, I'll do Where it. Where is the basketball? It's on the backyard. Where on the backyard? Close to the BMW. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I know where it is. <laughs> you know. Oh, Jesus, it's way back there. Oh, yeah. It's like on the side of the BMW. Yep, that's right. Oh. It's a huge basketball hoop. He went there to pick him, pick it up by himself. Just wait. <laughs> there he is back. Wait. <laughs> Why don't you? No, no, don't move it. Okay, so this is it. Um, and this is going to, when you tight the bottom and tight the top, this is going to touch properly on the sides of the radiator. So it's going to be less air coming out of there. So let's go in there. I'm very impressed with this. Um, if they have one for the Supra, uh, when I rebuild the engine, like I did to the BMW, um, I might get their a radiator and one fan shroud like that. Not sure. Probably. Let's look. Let's. See. All right, night here, and one thing I noted was the pins in here, so this goes like this, right? So you got the positives on the top and the negatives on the bottom, and they all translate to one positive and one negative, which this means, um, I don't know exactly, I can't remember, but one is high, one is low. Uh, this side here only have two, um, and this side here, have the four 
I am sure that this is not correct. Uh, not because Mishimoto did it wrong. This is because I bought the fan shroud for the two uh, two JZ for the Eclipse Two G Turbo. This is the one I just took it out, which I did, and you see the top. The right side is negative. This camera takes a while to focus. The right side is negative, is black, and which is ground, and the left side. I don't know if the camera is going to be different, but this side here is positive. And if you go there, uh, it's a straight up, right, with a click on the top. So if we get this here, click on the top, and this side here should be negative, this side here should be positive. I'm not a connector specialist, but as far as I remember, on the other connector, you pull this out, so far <laughs> it worked. Not having the tool, I just found a way to do it. I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's not good, but it worked, so check it out. Yeah. On my case, because I don't have high and low and all that stuff, um, the f whatever sends to the fan is my Speedwino and I wired it. So I just need to be sure that when I put like this, I have negative on this side, which is going to be one of those, and positive on the other side which is going to be the other one of those there you go nice there you go so now I have same thing I had before positive uh, on this side of the connector negative on the other side one more thing is those two tabs here they don't fit so there you go and now it should fit like a glove oh yes snug and tight beautiful now we need to do the same thing on this side okay so now to test we're gonna go here thermal fan uh, and I'm gonna say switch temperature instead of 115 just for the record it was 115 I'm gonna put uh, 20 degrees I don't know how many degrees is in there right now so I'm gonna save, go to the car, and let's see if it starts. Yeah, look at those babies. Oh yeah, they are both pulling air to the inside. It's very strong. Uh, yeah. So, all done. I guess I have some work to do with my downpipe. As you see, is my flashlight. Get my flashlight. I'm gonna show you. It is touching the fan, and that's definitely not good. So I will unfortunately need to take out of there to the bottom, cut it, and loosen this and move this in a little to see if I get a few inches and put some uh, put whatever I can in there for. Uh, to isolate the temperature so just for the record I'm gonna go back in here 115 burn that all right guys 5 a.m. and baby's crying time for me to go inside uh, that was great it worked so just be aware if you get a uh, Mishimoto shroud and you have um, the Mitsubishi Eclipse GS, not the GSX, not the turbo version, 
Uh, this is going to be a little bit different, but as you saw, I was able to take it out. It, you should have the deep in tool. Um, I used a couple of those little things in here, brackets, I guess, uh, and put my O2 sensor uh, here and the fans too. So it's pretty clean. It's like very, nobody even can tell what's going on. Um, yeah. That's it guys, don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the little bell button, you're gonna get notification for my next videos. I have a lot of on the season one happening. Uh, this is going to get rebuilt, it's working and it has a nice engine, but that engine is gonna be very, very nice. Um, this here is about to get cooled off uh, with the blanket. I'm gonna get a new one, I'm just gonna test this uh, and everything else in here should be helping the car to get cool and the turbo to get its air out of the car and not in here so stay tuned for that later guys look past my face see status i mean it's a mcdonald's uh, 20 miles